Hi, my name is Andrew, and I'd like to teach you today how to find the molar mass of copper one oxide. In order to do that, I've created a nice little table to help us organize our thoughts. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the elements I see in the compound. So we see copper and we see oxygen. Next is then to take into account the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of copper, there is a two. That means that there are two copper atoms. And then oxygen, there is an invisible one over there. So that means there's one oxygen. Then we're going to take those number of atoms, multiply by the mass of each particular element that's found on the table. Periodic table, that is. Here's the mass of copper, 63.55, and oxygen is about 16. So those are the masses we're going to write down. So this is 63.55, and oxygen is about 16. Then we're going to find the total mass of each element in the compound. And to do that, we're simply going to multiply this row on across. So the total mass here of copper is going to be 127.1. Total mass of oxygen here is 16. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, guess what we're going to do? Simply add that column on up. So all we have to do now when we add that together is it's going to equal 143.10. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in grams per mole, and that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.